All right, welcome back to the show. This is going to be a plumbing video, and this is uh, going to be a video on how to hook up a tub shower when there is a floor joist that's in the way of your plumbing. So I've encountered this problem. I knew it was going to be a problem, but I've done this before in like remodels. And so I'm going to show you um, how you can hook your plumbing up for your tub shower when there's a joist in the way. It's really not that big a deal, and it's really not that hard, so let's get at it. So as you can see, here's the overflow, and then right straight under there is the drain, and here is a floor, the center of a floor joist. So it's the top of this floor joist comes to about right there. So you can see it's going to be in a way about by an inch, and you don't want to cut through that flange. So what I do is do an offset. And I'm going to show you how you do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is put the bottom of your tub on. Um, and we're going to dry fit everything. So you're going to work from the bottom up. And so the first thing we're going to do is get this on. And that can um, be a challenge, in it, a challenge in itself if you're by yourself. So I'm going to show you how to get this screwed on and set in place by yourself. So you're going to take the top part, get yourself some plumber's putty, which you're going to need to put on there um, when it's all said and done anyway. Get yourself some plumber's putty. It worked out. Lay it around there. mash it down like so. And then we're going to take the top and you're going to set it in the hole and then just press press down until you see that plumber's putty start to to pop out and that's going to hold this in place enough that you can screw that bottom on. Um, and this is just so we can get everything dry fitted. You want this to be exactly where it needs to be. Now if you can see under there, you can see that sticks out right there. So we're just going to dry fit this on here so we can get everything measured out. So now that's held in place, if you're really careful, you can get that on there and screw it on. And that'll be enough. You want to do it snug and then just aim it towards your hole. So I drilled my hole offset. Um, I can tell you here in a second how far. So from center of the joist to center of the hole, I'm offset four and a quarter inches. Here, now the next step is to take your sanitary tee and you want to get your measurements for the pipe here and the pipe that goes from the bottom down to the rest of your drain and the trap is right down there. So. See, I'm a little high there. So I look at that. You can see that this sits about an eighth inch above that. So I need to mark accordingly. So I'm going to mark this here. And I know that needs to be moved down. All right, so I think I'm about the right height I need to be. And it's very important 
Um, the reason I put this up here is because you want that to be exactly where it needs to be. You want this to sit nice and flat for you to get a good seal on the bottom with the rubber seal and with the plumbing putty on top. It needs to sit flat, so it's important that this is up where it needs to be. Now that we got this, I need to kind of size this piece right here, which I need to cut just a little off of it. All right, we got this cut, and how I'm going to put this in to dry fit it is I put it in the sanitary tee first, and then I'll rotate it around, get both of those in. Now I can make sure everything is lined up the way it needs to be. It looks pretty good. I'm sitting nice and flat right here. This is good. Sanitary tea is good. Um, so I think we're good to glue all this together. And then once we get this all glued together, um, I can tighten. Um, I can tighten that down, and I can even test this for leaks before I connect my overflow to here. So the first step was to get the 90 and the drain in the tub, get that nice and flat. Second step was to get your sanitary tee, get your piece here cut, and your piece from the bottom to your trap cut, get it dry fit. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and mark it all with my pencil. I've showed you guys this, this before, but I always will make a mark right here. So when I pull this apart, I know how far it's going in there in case um, it's not seated all the way, I'll know. And then I also make marks on the pipe and on here, so when I put it back together, I know it's going right back where I had it when I dry fit it. it just It's one less thing I have to worry about. Um, when I'm putting it back together. So let's go ahead and get it glued together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this piece into here and then we will glue the bottom of the sanitary tee and this at the same time so I can get it perfectly lined up the way I want. Line my marks up. Now if that's glued, we'll put glue here, here, and we'll get this all glued together. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that on. And hold it together. Push down, make sure I'm seated. I like to hold these for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds just so they don't try to push out. A lot of times when that glue is bonding the PVC together, it'll want to push uh, the pipe out. So you just got to hold it there for a few seconds and then be good. You can see my lines are still lined up. I was seated all the way when I dry fitted it. And uh, we're good to go. I'm going to tighten um, this up. Should be good to do that. And uh, then we can connect our overflow. All right, now that I got this in, if this piece is not perfectly centered in here, or you didn't get the putty evenly distributed, it will leak um, around here, or the potential is that it could leak. Um, so you wanna make sure, that's why you dry fit this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water in here in the tub, let it go down, fill the trap up. I can make sure the trap's not leaking. And then I'll put the plug in this and put some water in here 
just to make sure uh, this isn't leaking. It shouldn't take long for me to figure that out. And while I'm doing that, I'll get the overflow uh, part of this um, dry fitted, and I should know if I'm good to go to put that in. So any leaks under there? That's glue right there. So that's not leaking. I think we're good around that drain seal. Which here's the drain stop right here. It's just a push one. fairly quickly if uh, that's sealed around the outside there. The thing about this overflow is this has to be put on, this is kind of an angle here, this part kind of angles back. So this needs to be straight down in all reality. I always put them straight down when I have to do this and then what I do is I use two 45s. Come down 45 and 45 into uh, my sanitary tea, and it's pretty much that simple. So we'll get this uh, temporarily, temporarily put in here, get our measurements, and get this all uh, ready to get hooked up if we're not leaking. So the style that I have has two screws that go in. I buy these online because they're all Schedule 40. Um, but I put the two screws in about halfway, uh, put the bolt through part of this, and then I can slide that, slide that in there like that. And then it should hold itself there for me to go around to the other side and tighten it all. I'm just taking a just a scrap piece of inch and a quarter PVC and putting it on there to see if it's going to work, be the right length or whatnot. And uh, looks like it might be. All right, guys. I think uh, I think I'm pretty good now. That sits where it needs to. Got all this. I need to cut. Um, piece of pipe to fit in here but one thing you don't want to do when you're hooking up any PVC and if you've done any of it you'll understand what I'm saying but is you don't want to hook this up where there's a lot of undue pressure on the pipe you just want it to naturally go together you want all these um, pieces of PVC to be seated all the way in your uh, fittings and if you're getting undue pressure or you know, you're not perfectly lined up and these pieces of PVC aren't seen all the way, then you don't have it right. And um, you just need to stop, slow down, and and get it right. Because you don't want that to be under pressure. Um, and because in the future it could cause you uh, problems. And, you know, when I started doing PVC, I had the tendency to get in a hurry and to do that. But I've learned over the years that you just got to... Be a little bit patient take your time and get it right so that's why I started marking all these um, lines so I know when I pull this apart if I'm seated all the way because I know how far the pipe should go into the fitting so if I make these marks I know when I pull it apart I'll show you here so you can see my mark here and I just measured it, it's three quarter inches up. So I know that that was seated all the way. Originally there was my mark and it wasn't. So I knew I have to put that, push that fitting in. And dry fitting this stuff can be very difficult because it's a very tight uh, tolerance. Um, but you wanna make sure that these are seated in all the way, especially on these smaller pieces where they're only setting in three quarters of an inch. Like when you get into the bigger PVC, it goes in like an inch and a half. Um, but this smaller stuff, it only usually sits in three quarters of an inch. So I got all these cut. I just got to cut uh, an inch and a half piece to go between here and the fitting. And then we could take this off and put this all together.
So I have a little bit of 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 I got all lined up. It's in the hole. I had to set this up just a, about an eighth of an inch to get it to fit. So I'm just going to hold it there until it dries. And we should be good to go. All glued together. Um, I can put my the seal in there. So all I got to do is pull this out a little bit. Slide that in there. And then we go around, put the bolts back in, and tighten it all up. All right, well that's a quick and easy way that I have found to hook up a tub drain system when a floor joist is in the way or you encounter something where you have to move it over. It's really simple. All you're basically doing is 45 in that um, overflow over um, to get on whatever side of the floor joist you want. So those are some things I've encountered um, in when I was remodeling. And using those eye joists, that top flange is um, about, I think it's about an inch wider than like a two by joist. And I would have cut through probably about a half inch to an inch of the top of that. And I just don't want to do that. You're not supposed to do it. So this is a solution. Hopefully somebody out there that can find, can find that useful. So if you guys are looking for a Schedule 40 drain kit for your tub, if you have to do that, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to our Amazon store where you can find the one that I showed you I used today. And for that matter, any tool you see me use, anything that I basically am using in this house, we're going to try to leave, uh, put those in our Amazon store. If you guys are interested, check out our Amazon store. You might find the, some of the stuff that we're using. If it's not in there, let us know and we'll try to get it in there. So. Again, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.